Hello lovely YouTube friends! Ever wondered what it would be like to hire a boat for a week? Well, you're about to witness the irony of a bunch of full-time liverboard bezzy mates travelling up the Falkirk Wheel and on to the Union Canal in Bonnie, Scotland. We're all going on a Scottish holiday. Oh yeah. We're all going on a Scottish holiday. There'll be rain. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. We're all going on a Scottish holiday. There'll be so sun for a week or two. Just as it starts to rain, we arrive. Yes! <laughs> we were welcomed by a lovely team at ABC Boat Hire. Our new pal Alan was so helpful and patient while we captured the boat for film. Hi Alan! Just waiting for uh, some filming because Adam it's doing a reel for Instagram, so we have to like wait in the rain I've while hired Lauren to film for me though. while the uh, the boat gets filmed on the inside. Yep, this is what happens when you create content. <laughs> you get wet. <laughs> Skylark is an absolutely amazing boat. She has a spacious living area and kitchen, two bedrooms and two bathrooms. She is so different to my boat. I was really impressed at how the beds folded out to be a double or a large single. Kind of outdoor schooling, homeschooling yeah, yeah. section. Sure. And then you just. And now bringing in all of the stuff. Three, four days of food. Activity. Like four weeks of food. <laughs> this! <laughs> Got all the activities, the most important ones guitar and yoga. Maybe at the same time, that would be interesting. What are you most surprised about being on this boat right now? Um, that there's two bathrooms. <laughs> I think that is quite the treat, to be honest. Yeah. I like the skylights because it makes it lighter and... Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Thank you. The area as well. Really nice. Mm. <gasps> yeah. Microwave? A microwave. What? That's not... That's not normal, is it? No, and I won't be using it. Microwave's bad for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Dr. Adam. <laughs> I'm really interested in like what systems they have because when I use my toaster, which is over here, when I use my toaster, it really drains my batteries, so I don't use it very Do often. Get the kettle on. <laughs> what I love about this boat is actually it seems really spacious. And it's like you can go in and out and there seems to be a lot of space even though we've got all of our stuff in here um and it's so tall so like if you're a tall person you could still be on a boat whereas in our boat i don't think you could no there's only probably about that much more so yeah, yeah same in my boat yeah it's very spacious and very bright um i feel like the back wardrobe is better so i'm going to use that one we're not massive water consumers anyway are we? Well so, you won't yes. be if you're used to I'm the only one that showers as well. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> classic. <yeah. laughs> classic Adam joke. <laughs> After we had unpacked, Alan did a fantastic job walking us through the boat. He covered all things safety like how the ropes work, how, when and where to fill up water. We were all very surprised to discover there was central heating. I often joke about how you can't just push a heating button when you live full time aboard an arrowboat. Well, you don't push this one, you pull it. It was interesting to see the coolant container on the outside. Alan asks us to check this daily, which I never do on my boat. We also got a good look at the engine and weed hatch. I couldn't believe how clear the water was. Everything had its place and was made as simple as possible for complete beginners. We are getting ready to go. You excited, Shanti? Shanti! What's this? You excited? You excited? That's great, yep. Yeah, you're gonna put it in here. 
Yeah. Who are you steering? I'm steering. I'm steering well. Where am I going? There we go. Okay. Where are you trying to do multitasking? The magnificent feat of engineering you see before you is the remarkable Falkirk wheel. Opened in 2002, the rotating boat lift connects the Forth and Clyde Canal with the Union Canal, allowing boats to travel from Glasgow to Edinburgh. My favourite fact about the wheel is that it only takes the energy from boiling your kettle twice to rotate it, meaning that the engineers who submitted the design were clever beans. It's perfectly balanced. You excited to go in the wheel, May? <laughs> Inspirations for the design include a double-headed Celtic axe, the propeller of a ship and the rib cage of a whale, a form of contemporary sculpture one may say. I was buzzing. Like a pro. Have you cruised a boat before? What? Have you cruised a boat before? Nah. Never. Saying so start reversing. green it's moving 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 So Felcock um, wheel is actually replacing 11 locks and imagine how long it takes locks to do 11 locks, it takes a long time right? And I don't know how long this wheel takes but it's certainly not as much. Um, it's really amazing, you can actually go and see where the locks used to be um, in the woods which we're gonna go and have a little check out as well. Um, stepping on a bit of history there. It's kind of nice to see locks and where the canals are used to run along. It's quite um, exciting to know that someone decided to come up with this idea to replace them to make it a lot easier for everybody. So yes, thanks, thanks to those people. Amazing view, most that incredible. Was really, really cool. Really cool. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Ooh, I feel a bit dizzy. Ah. Can you explain what happens? Like, is there something that just goes underneath to seal it between the cracks? 
do you see the bolts? And then you can see two plates with bolts through it, and then yeah. same again. In between each double plate with bolts through it is very thick rubber. Right. So it's almost like an accordion of the old railway carriages joined together by concertina. Mm. So, so that really joins the gap between the two gates to make it a thin bath and for us to travel over when the gates go down, sealing the water in. Wow. So it's just hydraulically pushed two ribs of a big industrial accordion to close the gap. Yeah. You ready, Ads? No, I'm ready, baby. Tire off. I mean, opposite of tire off. Undoing it. Oh, oh sorry, I thought you should have just been there. That's right. Up we go! Up we go! First aqueduct! Oh! <laughs> Maybe not that much speed. That's it! What do you think? Hey? Where are we? <laughs> Holding on for dear life, guys. I thought this woman could drive a boat. <laughs> Doesn't she live on one? <laughs> I'm feeling it. <laughs> Actually, yes, so fast. Yeah, I, I know. can't handle how fast this is. Got, honestly, I'm holding on for dear life. We're probably going about five miles an hour. <laughs> well, we know, don't we? Wow, Rough look at that. Cruising a different boat for the first time really put into perspective how challenging it can be for holiday boaters to remember the brief. What to do, what not to do. It's a ginormous lock. Look at that sill. Mooring up on corners and manoeuvring into locks is not easy if you've never done it before, but there's so much exciting fun to be had. This is something I haven't seen before, the rope around the, uh, this pole inside the lock. The gate's open and we're in another lock. You go girl. when we are cruising I'm the one who's walking faster than the boat but look at her go you can actually take her well you're supposed to go four miles an hour and um, she's probably doing about that whereas our boat probably does three miles an hour or two miles an hour um, so yeah it's crazy how fast she's going I'm like basically running to try and keep up about to do my first ever ever tunnel which I'm really excited about because I've never been through one before. <gasps> yeah. I realized when editing this that I had been through a tunnel, the Disco Tunnel. But this tunnel was built 200 years ago because William Forbes of Calendar House campaigned to Parliament against the overland route which would have ruined the view from his house. The Falkirk Tunnel is 630 metres long, full of calcified forms and stalactites. We also spotted a dinosaur, but you'll have to wait till next week's video to see it.
wonder if we've got any salt. Salt? Oh, no. No. Hello. <laughs> I'm cooking us a nice feast, but I have no salt. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're going to find a mooring spot now. Here's our spot for the night. Do you want to fill it? I'll finish it off for you. I'll finish it off for you, lassie. Are you going to take up the big spot, the main spot? You can't keep walking past him. And this. Click. Click. So I'm thinking if I move it like. Under the flight path at Heathrow. And this was only day one. Don't forget to subscribe and get notified for part two out next week. I want to say a huge thank you to all the lovely birthday messages and a special thanks to Heidi, Andy, Tracy Mack, Ian, Guy, Chris, Alice, Colin, Rod and Nathan for your coffees. So much love to you all. And we will see you next time for the ABC Boat Hire Adventures continued. Bye for now. What do we think of the new mooring spot then? It's really, really, really nice. These two, honestly, they're like sisters. <laughs> ah! What do you think of the way she's done the pin? Load of beep, beep. <laughs>